Hey, so I am out here chilling by the chimney. Let me show you. Boom. I'm like, what? Got a nice little setup right here. Got the little table and everything. Mm -hmm. But I got a nice little fire going and we're burning those things. And of course, I'm sipping my favorite bourbon barrel aged coffee. I was talking to some of the folks I live with and they were saying that yes I've been very stressed lately but they also understand why my mission is what it is why I'm doing what I'm doing so uh, I say let's get things going relaxation is nice but at the same time, I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> like, that's the big catch is I'm not familiar with relaxing. It's not enough to say, hey, I know how to relax. Like, it's been so long since I've had the opportunity to. And even now, I feel like I'm cheating by relaxing. It's definitely not a healthy place to be, you know, but it is what it is. It's what I got. You fire. You just keep wanting to go out, you bastard. I should have set these logs up a little bit better, but that's my fault. But no, I've got a lot of hurt. A lot of abandonment issues. Now, I decide what I'm going to start doing is talking about my stories. So, let's start off with the earliest one. According to my mother, the day I was born, they set me on her stomach... And by her words, you somehow lifted your head, looked into my eyes with your baby blue eyes, and then laid your head down and fell asleep. And ever since then, your eyes followed me every time I went into the room. Or I came into the room. Excuse me. I want to get that verbatim. But um, <clears throat> I've been obsessed with how humans work for a long time. Like a long, long time. I mean, I, was, I loved psychology before I even knew the word for it. And no joke, my first and third grade teachers both told my parents verbatim, Sean is the most manipulative child I've ever met. And I was, because I learned the system. Meaning, excuse me, trial and error. So I tried things, I learned the boundaries, saw what worked, what didn't. And I learned how to push those boundaries too. I mean, I, was, I wasn't the greatest kid to raise. But at the same time, I didn't have a lot of guidance. Like, my grandmother raised me, but both my parents were working. And then, once it got later, um, my grandmother moved away and went to live with her other son. And, yeah, I didn't really have anybody raising me. So, 14 on. And then, midway through 14, my lost grandma. She ended up passing away. I think she left when, she, when I was 13 to my Uncle James's house. Then it hurt. My mother never actually recovered because my grams, she was my mother's best friend. And like me, well, like I used to be, my mother's not that social. And I understand why. But I had to learn through trial and error all through my life. And I made a lot of mistakes. Like, make no mistake there. I made a ton. But at the same time, they were honest mistakes. And I was trying. See, that's the big catch, is I actually tried. A lot of folks, they give up. Like, for example, well, not example, but... You got two choices in life. You dealt a certain deck of cards. What are you going to do with that deck? You're going to play it? You're going to fold it? A lot of people are happy enough just... Playing the world's most basic game of poker. I play to win. But at the same time, it doesn't always help when people are cheating and ganging up. Which is exactly what's happened in my life. But yeah, no joke, first grade I cured my own speech impediment. So, here's how it worked. I knew that when people laughed, either something was funny or they were laughing at somebody. And so I saw these people laughing when I started to talk. 
just like, hmm, that doesn't seem right. So I stopped talking and then I would talk again and people would laugh or make smiles or whatnot. I had a speech impediment. Um, so it wasn't I think, it was I think. And it wasn't and then, it was and then. So I had a nice little challenge there. And what I did was I listened to other people speak, heard that I was different. Then I started to work my um, pronunciation until I was at their level. Meaning I could speak like they could. I wonder if I can salvage this without lighting anything. Let's see here. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, that's right. Get it. Get it. See, it's to the point where the wood is now charcoal. But now I listened to other people and I watched other people and I learned. And it was trial and error. Like, pretty much all of my life has been trial and error. Which, I mean, you get used to after a while. Makes you less than happy, but, you know, you do what you gotta. And I wanted to blend in. I wanted to have friends. I wanted to be a kid. And that was the problem. Other kids didn't like that I was different. It's easy to tease different. That's the sad part of it. And that was a lot of my childhood. I mean, I was that shy dude that didn't really get into trouble or do anything, you know, reckless terribly. I mean, I did small little pranks here and there, you know, but that was over, that was because by third grade, I was already blamed before I did anything. Like, I didn't do anything, but I was blamed. But then again... My parents and pretty much everybody agreed that Miss Childs from um, Four Corners Elementary, she taught third grade when I was in there. And pretty much everybody agreed that she doesn't like men at all, ever. And, I mean, having grown up and seen how people develop and what people go through and all sorts of recklessness, I get it. She probably got burned or she got spurned. It's one or the other. And she decided to take it out because I replaced, I'm not going to say her last name, but there was a young lady named Sarah, who, looking back and looking at her mannerisms um, in memory, she was probably abused. Probably. And you know, my heart goes out for her. But I replaced her as the smartest kid in school, but at the same time, I also very much earned it. I mean, I'm functionally autistic. I trade social skills for mechanical skills. And I own that shit. But you know, to each their own. Um, kids can be cruel. They were. I'll tell you a few more stories in a little bit. But for now, let's cover just up till first grade. And skipping a few things. Anyway, I'll catch y'all around.